what the Mew? The Mew EX from Paldean Fates up 110% in the past three months with only 31 copies currently available on TCG Player. So we'll see where this ends up going. Kind of interesting, although last sold are at 169, 169. Um, I th I've always liked this card. Thought it was super adorable. Um, didn't quite expect it to run up quite to this price. Let me know in the comments if you guys called this one. Um, we're doing a little market update today. We're looking at sealed and singles um, across the Scarlet, Violet, and Sword and Shield eras. Um, we're just taking a look at some stuff that is moving. So with the Bubble Mew, I wanted to reference the Charizard because this is kind of usually what happens. Uh, I talked about this happening. Um, this had its big spike, right? And usually they come down, okay? That doesn't mean they can't go back up later, but this is where we're at with the Charizard. A lot of sales right here too at the 217 mark and it's down to 189 with last solds at 185 and 180 so it looks like the charizard's um retracing but if he lands you know above the 115 120 mark then you know that's still really good gains so um unfortunately guys this is what happens okay this is what i said was probably going to happen um it, it, we saw this with the alt art boom earlier in the year you know it, it's it's that explosion explosive growth growth um just isn't usually sustainable um not that 190 isn't a great gain that's massive gains so um i'm not trying to poo poo on the charizard or anything i just i'm saying when compared to the mew <clears throat> we could see a retrace whenever this stops going up this is usually what happens um but right now there's only there's not very many um copies on tcg player um but paldean fate so that got me interested i started pulling up some some other paldean fate stuff and we got the just the Pokemon Center ETBs, seeing some gains, 13% um, in the past three months, with 14.5% coming in the last month. A lot of sales right here, and by a lot I mean five, but still, uh, most of the sales right here at $69 uh, on its way up. And last sold, we're seeing 77 and 83, and 80 and 80, so um, seems about right um, for the for the market for that box right there. The regular ETBs are also going up. 15% in the past three months and almost 14% in the past month. So yeah, some good gains there um, on the regular ETBs. Last solds are all at 51.94 for Paldean Fates. Um, there's also this Charizard tin. I've always really liked this tin. I ripped a few of them um, on the channel and I just liked them. I, 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 they're probably the most desirable of all of these tins. It's not really hard to see that, but um, just some growth. Up almost 10% in the past three months, um, pretty much flat over the past month. So it looks like it's kind of leveling off a little bit there, but they went as high as $42. And last solds, though, 45 45 45 and 50 So uh, this might be coming up, the Charizard 10. Should have kept mine sealed, um, but I did have a fun time opening those. Now the Gardevoir. Now this card is kind of down right now, 10% over the past three months. But if we zoom out to the one month, it's kind of even but i wanted to bring this card up uh because i think that this is an undervalued card from paldean fates i just wanted to put that out there i think this card is very undervalued um considering what the charizard and the mew are doing this is just as difficult to pull and this is a very popular pokemon so i think there's room to run on the gardevoir just wanted to throw that out there um last sold's 42 41 40 41 42 so yeah that's the uh the my uh little play if you if you want to put it that way or pick up um from paul day and fate since it's getting some attention just wanted to throw that out there um next up we have some crown zenith um information crown zenith is coming back up we'll take a look at all the gold cards here starting off with the giratina uh great card uh, these cards absolutely pop in person up almost 10 percent in the past month i zoom out to the three three month chart and it's kind of down but you can see it went from 95 up to 105 we'll see it looks like maybe that's not going to happen we're seeing 195 on the last solds but um either way finally seeing some growth um on these gold cards um the arceus up same thing kind of the same thing 12 percent in the past month um at 64 dollars last solds at 60 60 57 64 so uh may take a little bit for these cards to to like get back to where they were but um the dialga not up as much either but still some growth in the past month uh 6.5 percent um we'll zoom out here we'll go out to the six month chart or the one year yeah so where this card's at right now is still 
great increase over the $30 mark. So it ran when the alt art boom happened. These cards ran up as well, went up to 62, came down to as low as in the 39s again. And now it's holding strong at like mid 40, mid to higher 40s. Then we got the Palkia, um, 11, almost 11 and a half percent gain in the past month. So some decent growth on this one as well. Uh, we'll just go straight to the one year here. Similar chart here, um, but it's setting higher lows, kind of mid 40s. It was as low as 32 back here. Ran up as high as 68. Um, last sold 45, 42, 43, and a 50. So we'll see what happens uh, with these group of cards. Um, these are another group of cards that are a great sequential grading play if you have um, all four. Those do really well sequentially graded, especially if you get tens. Um, then we have the Mewtwo from Crown Zenith. I think this is the last Crown Zenith on the list today. Up 9% in the past month. Not not crazy. Nothing nothing too crazy. However, so we have market at 58. Last solds, we're seeing 68. Uh, then it comes down 53, 53, 68, 66. So potentially this could be running up again. Absolutely stunning card, Fighting Charizard. He's got the, he's got the Kamehameha going on. Um, yeah, so 9% gain there. Um, we'll zoom out a little bit. Still even 6% on the three-month chart and 17% on the one-year. Ran up to 69 was its high. Looks like its low was around $43 in the past year. So, and starting to grow again. So, uh, Mewtwo showing some strength. Uh, stunning card, so it makes sense there. Then we're going to jump over to some Sword and Shield with the Umbreon. We're just going to touch in real quick on the Umbreon VMAX here. 21.5% still climbing uh, with the Umbreon for near mint copies. However, it's last solds, we're seeing a, a 940, then it goes up to 1050, 1028, then 1000, 1000, 1200. So uh, a little bit all over the place with the Moonbreon. 40 copies currently on TCG player. Um, we'll zoom out to the one year. It'll be interesting. So this was a card, um, we'll say, I don't know if it doesn't, doesn't take the market with it per se, but it can be an indicator uh, of things to come. So this is what I was talking about. Uh, with some of those other cards of potential. So this was a five hundred dollar card for a long time. Ran up to almost a thousand. Then it came back down into the eight hundreds and now it's setting a one year high. Up eighty seven percent over the past year. So you see what this chart is doing. So some of those other cards that like the Charizard um from one fifty one, this is something that is possible. If it runs it comes down for a long time, it, it trades in this channel, you know, the eight hundred dollar mark, um if the Charizard does that then it can go on another run. That's just usually what happens, okay? So it's not that the Charizard can't go up. It's just, right, this is kind of how it works. Um, when a card explodes in price, okay, when it goes up, like right here, 950s, a bunch of people go, oh, this was a $500 card. I bought it at 500 I can sell it. And then a bunch of people sell. And then they go, oh, well, well, I'll, I'll sell mine for 850 Okay, I'll sell mine for 840 right? And they're still making hundreds of dollars, okay? So... That's sometimes why these prices come down. Anyways, um, that's just kind of how the market works. But um, and, and that's not every time. Just, just usually, right? Um, back to booster boxes. Okay, um, I wanted to touch on this just because touching on the Umbreon. Um, they're having eight twenty six at market price, twenty five percent in the past three months, almost twenty percent in the past month alone almost 90% gain in the past year. Absolutely wild. Um, 825, 700, 870, 975. So this box just seems to be just taking off. And um, we're getting close to the end of the year. I don't think this is going to be a thousand dollar box by the end of the year, but it is possible. It's definitely possible. There was a thousand dollar sale in here, right here. Uh, yeah, low, the low sale of 473. Anyways, um, could be some potential there. Um, I still think that there's tons of room for this box to run over the next few years. Um, yeah, I would, if I had a box for sale, I wouldn't be selling it at these prices. I'd be waiting for sure. Um, then we have the Giratina. We're going to get some Lost Origin love here. Uh, one of my favorite cards, uh, from the, from the Sword and Shield era, I think, um, Last month up 10%, so it looks like it's it's bouncing back. Um, most recent sales 
we're seeing 340, 350, 340, 350, and a 400 sale. So that's interesting. There's a few 400s in here. So we'll see where this ends up. There's only 68 uh, on the market right now. The three month chart, it's down. Was we went to the one year so you guys can see a better picture. So this card was as low as 230 on its high. The alt art boom it went up to 480 and it went down to 326. And now it looks like it's coming back up. We'll see how long this takes. We'll see if this can pull uh, an Umbreon, a Moonbreon, and pass this 476 mark um, over time. This could just be, like I said, sometimes it seems like the Moonbreon leads the way and other cards follow. So we'll see. Um, the market's kind of at a like an exploding point right now. Things are getting kind of crazy. We have the Gengar up 7% over the past three months and just a solid 4% on the past month. We'll zoom out to the one year. So similar thing here, right? Uh, I could have had this as low as 183. It went up to 409 as the high, um, the average high. Then it came down to the 300s, like 290 right there. And it's slowly come back up to 324. Um, last sold's 320, 330, 320, 350 on the Gengar VMAX. So similar thing. Um, we could see this surpass this one year high. Just might take some time there. Um, then we're going to take a look at the current highest valued card in the SV era, the Greninja, because it's it's doing it's just still popping off. 40% um, up in the past three months and almost 15% in the past month alone. We zoom out to the one year, and so 100% gains over the pre-release prices, which usually pre-release prices are high. 158, it went down to 118, up to 160 down to 150, then ran all the way up to 240, came back down to 219, ran up, touched 300, 299, right? And then it fell off that to the 270s, and now it's at 320. Uh, last sold's 312, 306, 304, 343. I don't know what this uh, 600 sale is. That must be a PSA 10 copy, I'm assuming. So the Greninja, um, we've talked about this recently. You guys know my thoughts on the Greninja. Absolutely crazy. Um, price increase is still just running. Um, it looked like once it cracked 300, like it was going to fall off that for a while, but it just fell off. People ate up the supply and now it's taken off uh, 54 copies currently on TCG player. We'll take a look at a card that's kind of on the decline, a card that I actually like a lot. Um, this Pokemon is heavily featured in the new anime. If you aren't familiar, I do like the rainbow borders. I think it really works with this Pokemon and with this card, um, but not the strongest set. I still think it's a good set, uh, but the Terrapagos has finally fallen off, 16% down in the past month alone. It was at 116, now it's sub 100. Three month chart, uh, you can see pre-release prices went high, 150s. And this is usually what we see, um, that they fall off for quite a while and then they flatten out and then they can go on a run for the less strong sets, kind of what we see as a rule. Um, but the new market is teaching us all new things, right? <laughs> the market's crazy right now. but. It did go down to 112 and came back up to almost 120. But yeah, so now last sold, we're seeing 95, 95, and 98, right? Um, so it will be interesting to keep an eye on this card. I feel like with what's happening right now with the sets that are coming out, this is going to be a set that gets kind of forgotten. Like some of the lesser sets are really going to get pushed to the side. Um, so, and that's that's a natural. We got some banger sets coming out later next year. Um, then we got the Squirtle. The Squirtle's actually up just a little bit 2.3 percent on the past month it's down um same thing pre-release numbers were at 50 it went as low as 39 ran back up to 46 and now it's back down to 43 however last solds are higher 47 44 44 and 50 so we'll see where the squirtle ends up um absolutely love this card um the bulbasaur though on the other hand which is one we pulled in our opening um actually shown some some good gains 20 almost 22 percent and looks like this might be moving up a little bit more because uh, they have market at 37 and last solds were at 40, but we'll take a look at that in a second. So 20%, um, it's down. Obviously pre-release was in the 50s, went as low as 31. So yeah, it looks like it might be creeping up around the $40 mark. Last solds 40, 37, 37, 38. So we'll see where the Bulbasaur ends up. Uh, super adorable cards. Um, then to close off this video, um, I wanted to talk about Japanese 151, uh, the booster boxes, because we have that reprint coming, I think it was December, right? Um, so 80, 
uh, this is TCG player. They just added Japanese to their own section, so it's taking a while for them to populate prices and stuff. Um, but they went as high as 95 and as low as 87 um, in this in this little window right here. Um, last sold is 85, 90, and 100, which is interesting. Um, but we don't know the size of the reprint. So and what we've seen is that the market just gobbles it up. We've seen these boxes go from like 220 all the way down to in the high 40s, right? So I was getting some boxes um, through Sneaker Dunk, and my average cost shipped was like 48 per box or something um, at the low. I was at the low. So depending on this price, um, not the price, depending on the quantity, the reprint quantity, we could see, I mean, I'm going to guess like $60 range. I don't think it's going to go down too terribly much. Maybe it only goes into the 70s. It just depends. We don't we don't know what the size is, right? Um, if they do a huge reprint, um, we could see it go down into the 50s. But I don't see that happening. I think that just the demand is too high. Um, with English, with English um, getting so expensive right now, the English 151, and when the Japanese is more affordable, some people might be going over to open the Japanese, especially with the reprint coming. So, yeah, just keep an eye on that. I'll try and update you guys as we know more and when prices start to move more. Um, if you guys are this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button because um, you guys obviously enjoyed the content. I do daily Pokemon collecting and investing content. Daily, 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 daily. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to do a video every single day. It's been working for a while. Um, but that is going to do it for this one, guys. Just a little market update for you. The market is kind of, I feel like we're at a, we're at a, kind of like the Mew. We might be, I don't think we're in a bubble, but just we're at a boiling point where the market everyone is just like ravenous um and i think a lot of that is going into surging sparks right now um i think that's a solid set i'm not saying it's the best set of the era but i think it's a solid set and i'm following that one very very closely i can't wait to see what happens with that set but that's enough for this one i'll catch you guys in the next one and remember it was never a phase